It's our ball now, so I don't care. Whatever you got to do right now, get your minds locked and loaded, and let's start fast in this second half, yes, and let's play Miami Hurricane football. Yes, let's go. We get out. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The kids have had a good look at halftime, and I think our coaches have done a great job of, of teaching and, and giving them a, a plan that they can digest and, and execute. And so we came out and, and, um, and did a good job on offense in the, in the second half. Toss right side for Lamar Miller, looking for a block. Gets one at the 40. Here we go. He's at the 25 near sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5. Lamar Miller has the touchdown. Slowed him down. A little bit better on defense, especially in the third quarter. Here's a rush there on third go. down. Sean Spence is there and brings him down. Streeter had a chance to, uh, to catch a deep ball, which kind of broke it loose at that point. Benjamin left with Streeter as a touchdown pass. Harris to throw. Looking that for Tommy Streeter. He's got him at the goal line for a touchdown. Second one of the day. When he makes plays like that, you know, his teammates love him. And if you look at the reaction of the game, I think Figs going down, he's running down there and chest bumping him. I thought he hurt him. To be honest with you, I, I got nervous because Fig's a big man, but I was like, oh my goodness, I hope, uh, I hope we don't lose him after the play. I think the thing that's most rewarding for Tommy is that uh, right now he's sitting at three touchdowns, which is more touchdowns than he had receptions a year ago. It's been a long time coming. I feel like you know, I've been through a lot my past two years, and um, this offseason with new coaching staff, I feel like they've done a great job pushing me. He's finding success, but he's finding success through hard work and uh, he's dedicated himself to it, so it's something that we're excited for him about. You know, now I've received my opportunity, and, and I'm making the most of it, as well as other players like Eduardo Clements. Eduardo Clements in the backfield, on first down on the ground for Clements. He's got a hole across the 50-45 with a 40 of Bethune-Cookman running along the near left hash mark, and he gets inside the 40. I never thought that this opportunity would happen. I was on defense. Our depth looked a lot different in the spring at running back. We thought he was a guy that had a chance to be, you know, one of the best 22 on either side of the ball. So when Coach Ashley called me in his office and said, we want you to try a new position, I was like, Shh. it was kind of surprising to me. And it didn't look like he was going to get that opportunity at running back in the spring, at least this year. So we wanted to see him at defensive back. Switching the cornerback could have made me give up, but I'm not that type of guy. Everything I got to do, I'm going to do at full speed. And that's something Coach Golden and all the coaches know. From the first day they got here, everything they asked me to do, I'm going to do it no matter what. And then uh, our situation changed at running back, so I know he was excited when we moved him back because I, I think he knows he's a natural running back. Learning a new defense and stuff like that, it was kind of tough for me. So when I got the call to come back to running back, um, I hopped on it. Here's a handoff on the ground for Clements. Left side gets a block from Gunn. Clements angling to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Clements dives to the pylon and a bounds at the 1. He's worked hard. He's been a special teams captain for us already this year, and uh, he's done a great job for us on specials. And now he's a guy that uh, is getting uh, more of a role as a running back. All this week, coach was telling me I'm going to get my opportunity to play, so I just took that opportunity and ran with it. Horn over the ball at the one-yard line. Turns, gives it, Clements left side, and he will walk into the end zone for a Miami touchdown and an Eduardo Clements touchdown. I know my role. I've been doing my role so good that coaches gave me a bone and just told me to go in there and carry the load. He was in the game plan. He was part of our opener script. Uh, so he was going in the game no matter what. With everything that went on in, in the summer and just learning new positions and going back to the position I love, uh, it felt great to um, score a touchdown. And the University of Miami has defeated Bethune Cookman. Miami 45, Wildcats 14. That's your final score. Every preseason camp, one of the things I start off saying to the team is everybody knows the star player, but it's really the bottom 20, 25% of your team that could make the difference in the season. Somewhere along the way, our team is going to count on somebody in that bottom 30 to 25% of the team to step up and do a job that somebody else was either doing all season or all that game and then they have to come in and execute when we're all counting on them to do that. The only way to describe that is next man in mentality. Everybody's got to be prepared. You never know when your opportunity is going to come in football. You know guys are going to get hurt, stuff like that. And you got to relish in your opportunity. Um, you got to do great whenever your number is called. So the next time that guy do go down again, coaches know they can depend on you. I think the Latin phrase, uh, is it carpe diem, seize the moment? And that's how I think that's all it is. It's just 
So when that opportunity comes, when that moment comes, you have to make sure that you take it and that you have no regrets about taking it, no doubts going into it, that when you go in, that you are going to do your job because that opportunity may not come again. I feel so good. Ah! I feel so good. Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Got your first tackle, oh, huh? Yeah. You tell me about the process for a while. I'm like, that just happened, boy. <laughs> It felt oh, so man. good, though. That hard work pay off, man. That was great, man. Yes, yeah. Man, I, you. man. Oh, man. That. I was so happy for Appreciate you, man. Appreciate the opportunity, man. No, no problem, man. You earned it, man. Thank you. It took us four games to get an example of what I've been saying since uh, we've arrived, and that is this is going to be a meritocracy. Uh, there are no spots. The jerseys belong to the Miami Hurricanes, uh, and the program belongs to all the players who came before us. You better earn it on the field. It doesn't matter who you are. We're going to compete every day. There are no favorites. There are no spots. And uh, in the end, that's what's going to get us back to where we want to be as a football program. Just keep it up, man. All right, man. Take care of yourself.